Hey folks, today we're going to be reviewing the bathroom ventilation fan by Home Networks. Um, this is a pretty awesome fan, guys. I picked this up at Home Depot. It was more of the uh, pricier fans, I believe. Uh, I think I paid a little under $215 for the fan itself. Um, but it looks like it comes with a lot of capabilities. It has the Bluetooth capability. Uh, have the LED light. Um, there's three ways that you can use it with the switch. You can use it with your smartphone or you can use it by voice command because it has the Alexa built in as well. Um, so let's see what we have in the box here. So the, uh, got the grill here. I believe it's 11 by 11. Product registration. Fan housing with the speaker, two speakers. The duck adapter. The wall switch. Some screws and some brackets. So let's get this thing wired up and see if it's worth this money. Okay, folks, before we get started, um, let me just give you a little disclaimer. I'm not a licensed electrician, nor do I have any type of training or schooling in this area. Um, I believe I did my proper research and I received accurate knowledge and um, information from a, a reliable source. So I do feel comfortable with completing this job and uh, walking you along the way. Um, that being said, what we're going to do is go ahead and turn off the main breaker in the house and um, I'm going to notify my family that I'm going to be doing some electrical work so uh, they don't accidentally turn that back on. Because if they do turn that main breaker back on and you're working on a live wire, it's definitely going to be some slow walking and sad talking. So go ahead and turn that uh, main breaker off and let's get started with the rest of the project. Okay folks, so we're up in the crawl space. And this is just a, a little side note um, when you're in the your crawl space or your attic you want to be sure that you um, be careful where you step uh, if you don't have a finished uh, crawl space or a finished attic you want to be sure that you're just stepping on the studs because as you can see there's no floor so if you uh, step on anything other than that that's drywall you will fall through or uh, potentially damage and that can lead to uh, another project. Uh, so this is my fan, my ventilation system. I'm going to go ahead and in, uh, uninstall that. And uh, first, you want to make sure that your power isn't uh, active. We did shut the power, the main breaker off, but we still want to make sure we're not receiving any power. We're going to use a multi-meter uh, to test that. And once you realize that the power is off, you can go ahead and disassemble yours. I'm not going to record mine. Um, because I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory or yours might be different than mine. So you're going to stop the video and pick up uh, once we start installing. Okay, so the directions call for the hole that you cut in order to uh, place the uh, housing of the fan. And uh, it's nine and a quarter inch by nine and a quarter inch so that's what you go ahead and do you go ahead and uh, cut that nine and a quarter inch out if it's not you know if it's if you don't have an existing uh, hole there uh, you go ahead and cut that out Okay, we're going to go ahead and wire this thing up. It comes with 
uh, the red, uh, excuse me, the white, the green, and the black. It also has a white, uh, the copper, and the black. So this is a quick connect. So all we're going to do is just insert those into the quick connect to uh, so the fan can get power. And I'm going to do that. Um, that's kind of hard to do with holding this phone. So I'm going to stop the video and come back to it. So as you can see, I went ahead and pushed those in. And uh, so what we got to do is um, put this back in the housing and uh, screw it back in and, and mount it. Okay, folks, so we went ahead and put the brackets into the studs. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark up here. And um, all you got to do is uh, make it flush with the drywall. Once you do that, uh, you insert those screws. It comes about six screws that you insert. And two more screws. You probably can't even see it, but you are putting there to stop it from sliding and then attach the duct as you can see I need a, to get uh, a new attachment to the duct oh also this piece right here all you do is slide that down you take that out of the box and just slide it down so that's pretty simple uh, make sure it's uh, in the right direction and then attach it and then we head downstairs to finish up the work. Play Tasha Cops, Leonard. Okay, folks, we went ahead and wired the switch up. Power's still off. Um, connected the white with the white, the black with the black. And this red wire, uh, we connected with the load wire uh, that's going up to the fan. So the red wire that's coming out the switch connect to the load wire that's going up to the fan. And um, yours may be a little different depending on how many switches that you have in this existing existing box. Um, I have another switch attached to this, so that's why you probably see a little bit more wires. Um, some wires, you know, you probably have a single post, two posts or um, you know three switches on so it can get a little complicated and if you're not comfortable I would highly recommend that you you know hire an electrician or um, get uh, approval from an electrician on you, the work that you have done so all we have to do is go ahead and attach the housing and um, we'll be pretty much all set Okay, um, folks, up here is pretty much just plug and play. Uh, these two wires that are sticking out of your um, housing, you're going to just plug back in. Um, gonna, and then there's three wires that's coming out right here. You're going to plug into the uh, um, cover of the fan. And there's two clips right here. One right here, and one on the other side. You just bend those together, close them together. And they're gonna go inside these on each side right here so you can bend them together like this and put them in there and then it spring open and push it up and that's what holds the, uh, the cover on and that's all it now that we have everything installed and powers back on let's see if this works uh, looks like this one is for the light. Light should come on. And these are dimmers. So you can hit that one, two, three, four times and it actually dims the light as you're hitting it. Um, this is to turn on and turn off the Alexa. Uh, this one is for the fan, of course. We hit this one. See if that fan comes on. It's blowing pretty good. So you can turn on and turn off the fan with that. And this one is to turn on 
and the, turn the fan on and off at the same time. So the light will turn on and the fan will turn off at the same time. Um, if you hold it for about three seconds, that'll actually power everything off. So you won't be able to operate it. Hold it for three seconds to turn it back on. Now to get the Alexa to work, you'll actually have to download the home network app and pair your, um, your fan with your um, Alexa app, excuse me, with your home app so it can find your device. And once it finds your device, it'll walk you through how to program your device to, uh, then you'll be able to speak and have Alexa. So all these things, you can use them manually and everything on here, you'll also be able to speak to Alexa and have her, you know, turn on and turn off the phone, the, the fan and- uh, Sorry, I'm having trouble. Please try it in a little while. <laughs> That's her talking to me. I haven't asked her anything. Um, but you'll uh, be able to speak in the commands and have the fan turn on and turn off or have the light turn on and turn off or dim. Or you can use your phone, your smartphone, or any device uh, that you download the home app to. And so you can be in your uh, room and uh, operate the fan and the light from the device that you downloaded the home app to. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I hope you guys uh, succeed with this uh, process. And uh, any questions, uh, you can just comment down below. Alexa, turn on fan. Okay. Alexa, turn off fan. Okay. Alexa, turn on light. Okay. Alexa, turn up light. Okay. Alexa, play Tasha Cobbs. Shuffling songs by Tasha Cobbs Leonard on Amazon Music. Alexa, turn down music. Alexa, turn off music. Alexa, turn off light. Okay. Alexa, turn on nightlight. Okay. This fan is pretty awesome, guys. I believe it's it's worth the money. Um, it's a good addition to my bathroom. It actually uh, completes my bathroom and it complements the LED mirror light that I have as well. Uh, so I'm satisfied, I believe, right now.